Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an American Girl doll room. And I thought this would be a good video because these really helped me when I was starting to make my doll room. So I thought this would be really helpful. Let's just get started with the video. So first, you want to pick the space that your doll room will be in. I picked this corner of my room and this there's not gonna be a doll room here this is just for an example but this is an empty corner that I didn't really have any use for ignore if you see like a cord there I have like lights with clothespins here because I had birthday cards hung next you want to pick furniture pieces for your doll bed you have three choices you can go with the classic American Girl box you can use an actual like American Girl brand piece of furniture which I know not everyone is available to, or a homemade one. Now I mostly recommend the brand bed just because it looks the most realistic, but I know not everyone has American Girl brand furniture, so I just recommend using the most realistic furniture just because if you don't, if you use an American Girl box and you don't cover it, it looks very cheap and looks like it was homemade. But I will be using this bed because I really love this. It takes up the space really nicely and it's very cute. Now that you have your bed picked out, that's probably going to be the biggest piece of furniture in the room. Put in the bigger pieces of furniture because you can add the little accessories after because that's not the most important part. So you want to find a good place for the bed. You don't want to put it like right in the middle of the room with space behind it. My bed in my real room is up against the wall and I use this as an accent wall. But it's whatever you want, um, just how you want to use the space. So I'm just going to find a place for the bed and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. So I'm not going to keep this here, but just some options are to put it in a corner, which isn't the best idea in my opinion. I feel like it's crammed in there and it's like really tight. It's just whatever you want, but you could also put it at an angle like this, which I think would be really cool. I'm not going to be doing that because I don't have enough space over here for the doll to walk through because again I like it realistic. You could put it sideways like that. It's just however you want it. It's up to you. I decided to put the bed right in the middle just because I really like the way that looks and it adds more space here on each side. I wait to add the bedding later just because I feel like I want to put the other pieces of furniture in first. So I have two other pieces of furniture to put in the room. First is this dresser, and also you might need to move things around in your doll room. It just really depends on how you work it out. So I'm going to put this in the corner at an angle just because I feel like it's really flat and dull if you have the dresser like right like that. So I'm going to put it at an angle just to add more character. I know it's like little things like that that I think add a lot to a room. Now, I left a little bit more space on this side than this side because I'm going to put a vanity on this side. So I have this, which is an American Girl box I covered in fabric a long time ago. I'm going to use that and you might need to move the bed a little bit, the other furniture, and this is not how it looks yet. I might move some things. So I actually decided to move the bed, it's like totally different now, but I put the bed on this wall, still with space on each side, because I really like the way that looked, but it, I thought like it was really cramped if it was like this. So I have the white dresser right here, also at an angle. I have that over there, and because this wall will be really, really empty, I have the flute stand and the actual flute in its case, which I will put back there, just to add more character to the room. And also you want your furniture you pick to kind of match the doll's personality. Um, if you're doing like one room for all of your dolls to share, just like with one bed or something, then I recommend putting different pieces of furniture that would fit many dolls' personalities, such as like sporty, girly, um, athletic, which is sporty, um, or maybe like laid back, or even boyish. So I have put the flute and flute stand back there, and now on to accessories. So I feel like the room is way more finished if the bed is made, so I'll be making the bed now. So obviously you don't want your doll sleeping on 
hard cardboard. So I have this really like thick quilted old Hannah Montana pillowcase, which I had from when I had my Hannah Montana phase. So I'm going to use this because it's very thick and I really like this for a mattress. It's a little long, so I roll it up at the top to kind of make like a really long body pillow or bolster pillow. And you can't really tell what it looks like, except for the roll, but now it fits perfectly. Now you want to pick your actual bedding. So I will be using this fabric, which is from Joanne. You um, can fit it any way you want. You can tuck it in to the mattress. You can fold it any way you want. It's your doll ring. Another tip I didn't mention earlier is I like to play music or watch YouTube videos while I'm doing my doll room. And watch you, watching YouTube videos really helps me, especially doll room tours, because as I'm making my doll room, I get inspiration from that doll room tour. But it just depends. I'm not going to play music or watch, you, or watch a YouTube video for this video because you can hear it in the background. I don't want to get copyrighted. So because this fabric isn't finished or anything, it's just a piece of fabric, I tucked it in and then folded it so you don't see the um, edges where it's fraying. So I have this on here and now four pillows. So I like using a regular pillow and then two accent pillows or three or however many you want. And that's what I like using. So this pillow is a polka dot pillow, which I made. And this pillow came with the Our Generation Camper, which just says, I love flowers. And I like putting them at angles and not flat because again, it adds more character. And now you can add more accessories, which is my favorite part. So in this American Girl box, like I said earlier, I'm going to make this a vanity. Sorry if you hear my voice moving. I'm trying to find the mirror. So I have this mirror which I got from a flea market and hello um and it came with like a little purse and it's perfect size and I put tape on the back so I like putting that up there because a vanity needs a mirror and I don't really have a good mirror I think I might have a locker mirror but just any mirror for vanity I need mean, like not every doll room is gonna have this but this is just my doll room has now you can add the things on top Now you are done with the vanity. Well, I am. <laughs> and as for the white dresser on top, I'm not gonna be putting accessories. I'm gonna put it, be putting decor. But you can put like, maybe if it's during the school, you can put like, like school books on it as if they're like doing their homework or something. Or maybe you wanna put like a diary or like food. It's probably what I'd have on, um, on there, but I will be putting decor. I have a little pot of flowers. And that's just a really cute summer piece. And then I have a little owl figure, and then I have a little seashell to represent like the beach or something. Now, as you can tell, the room is pretty much done, but for one more final touch, actually two. Nope, three. <laughs> so I feel like room rooms without rugs are like useless. So you gotta have a rug. Every girl needs her laptop. And these walls are very bland, right? Well, you can easily solve that with posters. And if you have any extra room, you can add things like an unfinished chair. So now you are complete with your doll room. You can do whatever you want with these rooms. They are completely... You can customize them any way you want. You can use them for an actual doll room. You can use them for a set, for a series, or a movie or something. But you can just use this for whatever you want. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. Bye.